All right, all right. It is that time. This next guest, I was going to introduce, but I think it's more appropriate that we have the interim director, your new director for the D.C. Department of Aging and Community Living. You've already met her, Jessica Smith. She's going to introduce our mayor, your mayor, Mayor Muriel Bowser. Jessica Smith, come on up, my new friend. Good afternoon. Are you all having a good time? Awesome. We are so, so excited that you are all here. And it is my distinct pleasure to introduce our mayor, Muriel Bowser, here to join us today. Well, hello, DC. Oh my goodness, you look beautiful, everybody. You look beautiful. I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for everything that you do each and every day. I want to thank you for coming out last Tuesday in droves and speaking up for Washington, D.C. And I want to say thank you for trusting me. Uh, to make sure that we will go across all of the district's eight wards. Is Ward 1 here? Where is Ward 1? Ward 2 seniors? Ward 3 seniors? Ward 4 seniors? Ward 5 seniors? Ward 6 seniors? Ward 7 seniors, Ward 8 seniors, oh shucks now, oh shucks, Ward 8 is great, well Ward 8, thank you for having the whole city in the beautiful Baloo Senior High School. And I know that you are joining me in wishing these kids all the best. I was just here last Tuesday talking to the kids. Let me just say three big things that you told me to stay focused on. You told me to stay focused on, on public safety across all eight wards. And I need your help. We all need to focus on the young people that we know, 24 and young, younger. We need to make sure they're connected to a job. Yesterday, we started, again, this summer, the Marion Berry Summer Youth Program. So every child below 24, so some young adults, has an opportunity for an enriching job experience, and they're all making a living wage. So I'm very happy about that. So I want you to think about some of you are grandparents who are helping out with your young people or maybe raising your young people. And please make sure you're connected to every program and service and that they are connected to work. Tomorrow, over 8,000 kids are going to go to summer camp in Washington, D.C. And I'm going to tell you, now that I have a four-year-old, that is the best thing going. I mean, the Department of Parks and Recreation has enriching fun activities for our young people. So please, let's make sure that your little ones are connected to an activity. But I also want to make sure you know your police lieutenant, the chief of police told me to tell you, if you need MPD, to call MPD. Uh, because we're going to make sure that our young people are connected to programs and services uh, as well. You also told me to make sure that we don't forget about the seniors in Washington, D.C. And that is never going to happen. Uh, so we are proud of the new programs that we have started related to housing called Safe at Home uh, that allows you to make some improvements to your home. I am very proud that the council approved my proposal that get, takes the property tax cap 
for seniors that used to be 5% every year and made it 2%, which means your taxes can't go up more than 2% in any given year. That's a goodie, right? But we're also focused on your transportation. Um, one of the most important things that you can do for yourself, your health, and for the city is to stay active and engaged, right? So I don't have to worry about everybody here. But I am worried about some of your neighbors who aren't here, okay? So I want you to think about the people in your circle, relatives, neighbors, and see how we can get them involved in the Department of Aging and Community Living's activities. It could be wellness, it could be a nutrition program, it could be a trip, whatever. We want to see you and we want to stay engaged with you to make sure that you are getting everything you need from the city. You know, one of the things that makes me most proud, and now I'll end here, is that when I hear people from other jurisdictions, Maryland, Virginia, and they're talking about their senior programming, and then they hear about our senior programming. So we have to acknowledge the Department of Aging and Community Living. I want to acknowledge Nora Lulin, who had been our longtime director. And I also want to acknowledge our interim director, who you just heard from, Jessica Smith. So give her a big round of applause. The chair of our commission, uh, Commissioner Bobo. Where is Commissioner? There he is. Give him a big round of applause. I want to acknowledge uh, Vanella Crawford, who is our outgoing ambassador in Miss Senior DC. And um, Miss, is it, am I getting this right? Vinnie Lagon? Vinay Lagon, where are you? Vinay Lagon, let's give it up for Miss Senior DC. May you have an outstanding reign. And finally, everybody, have a great summer. This is, we are privileged to live in the best city in the world. And one thing that I said uh, when I accepted the Democratic nomination last week uh, was that we are not going to lose our chocolate city. We are going to invest in our chocolate city. And a homegrown Northeast chick who was an AFC commissioner, a ward council member, and almost a three-time mayor. I'm going to fight for you every single day. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. One. Got it. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Bowser.